Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a saga in uh, episodes in abject failure. <laughs> I have experienced more than my share here lately. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit of the history of this large piece here behind me. Um, this piece was actually a um, old canvas that I had been saving and saving for a long time. It used to be, I used to project movies on it because uh, it's so big, but I wanted to save it for something kind of special and fun. So with the quarantine and stay at home orders, my daughter and I had planned to put together a <laughs> video where we were going to be demoing outside. So it was grand plan, gonna do this staged painting process and share it with you guys. And it's, we took an hour just to set it up and we were outdoors and I was super psyched and ready to go. And nothing about this process went correctly. One, the white balance on the camera didn't pick up the first several layers that I put down at all. Couldn't see a thing. Nothing. It just looked like I was painting white on a white canvas. It was a mess. And then we started to paint the other layers on there. And for some reason, bees were extremely attracted in multiple ways to golden gold fine in liquid format. So much so they were actively committing suicide into the painting as I was trying to work on it. And then it got windy and it blew over while it was wet and I caught it with my hand right in the middle. So not going great. Originally, my thought for this whole painting was kind of a, a real horizontal piece with a lot of directional movement and stuff like this. And it wasn't happening. It was a big craggy mess. It just, it wasn't what I had in my head at all. Also in one of the episodes where the canvas blew over, it turned the camera off. So so we lost about 45 minutes of the um, the process. And so it was not a good day. I was not feeling it. Um, <laughs> uh, we were kind of wondering <laughs> what kind of karma we had drummed up for this thing. But um, it's at these times that you really have to kind of take a step back and look at where you're going and what you intended to do. And don't be afraid to just stop and think. So uh, what I did with this was I put it in my living room and just like made myself stare at it for days. Really, really pick apart like what I didn't like about where this was going, why I didn't like it. And one, it was like craggy and it looked like it was a movie prop from Maleficent. It just was like, ugh, you know, and it wasn't very subtle. And so it didn't have any kind of like nuance to it. And then I decided to just take the whole thing and back up and figure out what else to do. So I changed the direction of it. So it went from a horizontal to a vertical for one thing. And then the other thing was, is that there were so many shapes that I just felt like were too sharp, just too hard. The other thing I can tell you is, the other thing to be aware of is to don't be afraid to radically change direction. And with this one, I definitely did. What I decided to do was hit it with some Joe's signature gesso. And anything that I didn't like, I hit it with gesso. And some things left completely. Some things had just one coat of gesso. So there are pieces in there in some of these passages that are still visible, um, that are a less subtle, you know, more subtle and less garish and like quite in your face. I was able to soften some of the edges of the shapes so that they had a little bit more movement instead of all these really, really sharp angles that I wasn't enjoying. So it's important to just stop and figure out what it is that's not working right. And then don't be afraid to just like scrap the whole thing and start fresh. And with this one, I really took it down to almost where I was starting over. And, um, but the, the, I think the biggest takeaway from all of this, and you can see some staged photos here as we move, I move through the process, don't be afraid. Failure is not something to be afraid of. I mean, artists get all like worked up, like, oh, I failed, it turned out like I wanted. Well, yeah, that happens a, it happens a lot. But you can't take it, um, 
and let it get you down. The best thing to do is give it some time, put some brain juice behind it and figure out why this didn't go exactly the way you want. I felt like I could be comfortable going, diving back into it within a, a couple of days. Sometimes it takes a few months to figure out why you had this car crash on canvas. Um, and that's okay too. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of chewing on it to figure out what, exactly what direction it needs to go next. But just don't be afraid. Uh, when you're ready, you'll dive back in there and figure it out. Uh, but there's really no s such thing as a complete failure sometimes just a pause in stink town and uh, you'll figure it out but the point is to uh, have a good time uh, create and enjoy